bunch of alphas. God tell it. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. I will be your host today. My name is Robbie Marr, and we got a great show lined up for you today. But before we get to our many performances of the day, let's meet our esteemed judges, ladies and gentlemen. First up, I'd like you to put your hands together. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Put your hands together for the most decorated ping pong athlete in the history of the world. He also happens to be a Boston Celtics fan in seven, that's correct, game seven, Mr. Estes Rodriguez. Next up, she can chat the snap, she can book the face, she can tweet with the best of them. Let's put your hands together for the incomparable Miss Violet Kasich, everybody. Third, and most certainly not least, we have a gentleman who has been named the single most critical person in the United States. Let's give a warm welcome to our third and final judge, Mr. Leland Nago, everybody. Alright, so we have an excellent show here for you today, a lot in store for you. Before we get to that point, we're going to take a quick uh, commercial break and word from our sponsors. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> When the team is looking for volunteers or helpers, this person will immediately sign on. She is up for anything and is eager to try new things. She works diligently on her schoolwork and sports skills. She shows appreciation and gratitude and sympathy to others. Emma Boyer, thank you for initiating action at LUMS. We appreciate all of your efforts. Oh my god. <laughs> this student has been quietly initiating action all year long. Whether it is volunteering to do the morning message on the homeroom whiteboard or making, baking cookies for the team over the weekend, Livy Timmons is consistently making Lums a better place to be. To learn, one must start the process. You need to initiate, not passively waiting for information to wander into your ears. This can be hard. Trying means you can fail. Initiating action is trying again and again until you succeed. Asking for assistance, asking questions, and doing your best every day. Infinity would like to celebrate Tomas Bradford as it's picking for initiating action. This student is trustworthy and dependable. He always wants to help out in any way he can. No job is too big or too small. When a NOVA teacher needs a student to spring into action and help with a task, they know they can rely on him. Jackson Farnham does it with a smile and a great sense of humor. Thank you, for Jackson, for all the team that you do for Team NOVA. This student always comes to class with a positive attitude and is ready to help others in the classroom. They got their work done in a timely manner and is always willing to assist others who need it. This quarter, the Initiating Action Award goes to Levy Timmons.
gentlemen, welcome back. We heard from our commercial sponsors. So, at this point, you're going to hear from our first act of the day. And you know, I'm not really supposed to take sides or have biases as a judge, but this upcoming performance is one that is near and dear to my heart and my boss and my son. I would just like to point out at this point in time that the New York Yankees have not won in most of your lifetimes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to give you, based on the song by one Mr. Neil Diamond, the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> I can't begin to know him, but then I know it's growing strong. Wasn't the spring, and spring became a summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? Touching hands, reaching out, touching me, touching you. Fill it up with only two And when I heard Burden runs off my shoulders How can I hurt when holding you? Warm Touching warm Touching out, touching me, touching you. ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic job. So, in our little festivities here at Alpha's Got Talent, there's one main rule that you have to uh, keep track of. In order to advance to Hollywood, we will need the celebrity judge's approval from not one, not two, but all three celebrity judges. In order for our seventh inning stretch to advance on to Hollywood, they need three yeses. We are first going to hear from our esteemed ping pong player, Mr. Estes Rodriguez. Estes, what do we think of these fine folk? You know, baseball isn't really my sport, but that was one heck of a performance. I think you guys would be a great addition to our Hollywood finals. Thumbs up from me. Beautiful, beautiful. We got a Red Sox fan over here. Second judge. We're going to put it to the incomparable Miss Violet Kazek. She can Snapchat with the best of them. Violet, what do we think? Oh, 
my Lanta. You guys, that was amazing. I can tell that you have to share a lot to share with us. Big thumbs up for me. Absolutely, Absolutely ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. All right. We have two of the three of our celebrity judges who are endorsing our candidates for Hollywood here. We are now going to hear from Time Magazine's most critical individual in the United States of America, Mr. Leland Noggle. Leland, what do we think? Leland, what are our thoughts? I'm a Yankees fan. Well, that's too bad. Unfortunately, our seventh inning stretch does not make the cut, despite their brilliance. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, you'll hear from us in about another 30 seconds as we take another commercial break. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? This Alpha student exudes positivity and is always chipper and upbeat. She's always up for a challenge and will even sing the Digits of Pi song from heart. Destiny Goslett, we see you and appreciate your positive attitude. This extremer lights up every room he walks in. He gets along with everybody, offers to help others, and always speaks kindly to those, ar the, those around him. <laughs> he represents the real power of having community. Well done, Gavin Phillip. Middle school can be quite the shock. It can take a while before we find our rhythm. Although this student was thrown into the deep end, things seem to be going swimmingly. For promoting, for being a positive contributor to Team Infinity, we recognize Christian Dunster Frederick. This student is rarely without a smile. She is a go-to person when it comes to being a leader and getting her peers to also be positive. She chooses perfect kindness quotes to read on Tuesday's morning announcements. She is positively the best promoter of positivity. No one would like to celebrate Ava Mars' enthusiasm, vigor, and verb. This student always comes to class ready to learn and always has a positive attitude. He is engaged in his work and excited to be a part of class. His positive attitude radiates through the classroom and encourages others to be engaged in their work. The Applied Academics team is happy to present a, this promoting a positive attitude to Cody Mollier. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Well, uh... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, our next act for you, and they are here to bust a move, to cut a rug, 
to shake it off, please put your hands together for the Madrigal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I speak for all of us in that that was quite a special performance. It is at this point in time in which we will be hearing from our judges, and we will start out with Mr. Estes Rodriguez. Estes, what are we doing with these fine folks? You guys told a beautiful story for us today. The music choices, the dancing, the drama, that was everything. You got my vote. Hey, a big thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Remember, we need all three judges' support to send the Madrigals off to Hollywood. Next up, Miss Violet Kazik. Violet, what do we think? I can't even. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. That made me feel things. Of course, two thumbs up. We're two for two. Ladies and gentlemen, we are two for two. We are one celebrity vote away from sending these good people off to Hollywood. 
We will, he is a Yankee fan. We will now put it up to Mr. Leland Noggle. Leland, what are our thoughts? They should have stuck with Swifty. Another amazing performance. Unfortunately, no success in terms of advancing. We'll be right back after another commercial break. Achieving academically isn't just about being smart. It's also about working hard and truly caring about the quality of work you produce. With this in mind, few have taken as much pride in doing the best they possibly can as our pick for this award. Congratulations, Leland Novel. I was standing in her class. This extremer shows patience and perseverance with her learning. She works very hard and advocates whenever she has questions. She works well with her peers and is always ready to present to class. We are super proud of Sabrina Sautier. Not every student needs to scream to be heard. This student may not tip the decibels, but their impact on their work will make waves. For being a rock star in the classroom and for being outstanding, we would like to present the Achieving Academically Award to Olila Quiles. This Nova student brings just as much intensity to the classroom as he does the basketball court. And just like his dedication to improving his athletic skills, he works diligently on strengthening his skills in the classroom. His willingness to tackle scholarly pursuits may not come as easily or seem as much fun as, say, draining a game, winning three-pointer, or turning an inning and ending double play. And yet this Nova 8th grader rarely complains, often advocates for himself, and always gets the job done. Nova is pleased to present the award for achieving academically to Holden Marcelino. <laughs> This student always comes to class ready to learn, focused, organized, and thorough with her work. This student always aims high and succeeds. She's an absolute joy to work with, and we will miss her greatly when she moves to high school. Congratulations for achieving academically. Michaela LaFountain. Uh, so, uh, we have another contestant in store for you. Uh, I don't quite know his name or, or where he's from. Um, what I have been told is that it's an older gentleman. Um, my note card is blank. I uh, believe he's from... Ver oh, we have... Uh, oh, we have... Uh, we have some smoke. Uh, Oh, hello. Uh, don't I know you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this guy. I, I beat him in Medic not too long ago. It's, uh, it's, uh, what's your name again? Oh, uh, Gandalfa. Yeah, Gandalfa. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I present to you 
Gandalfa. Technical difficulty. Gentlemen, um, I don't quite know what to make of that performance, but it's not, uh, it's not my vote that counts. So uh, we're going to hear from our esteemed panel of judges at this point. Um, Estes, Mr. Rodriguez, what did we think? You made me believe, man. That was special. I want to see what else you can do. We got one! We got one, ladies and gentlemen! We got one thumbs up! Next up, we have Miss Violet Kazik. Violet, what are our thoughts? I mean, I'm speechless, which doesn't happen often. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, at this point, uh, Gandalfa has two out of the three supporters in the room. His destiny will be determined by Mr. Leland Noggle. Leland, um, what are your thoughts? While my colleague might be speechless, I have something I'd like to say to the spectacular Gandalfa. You, sir, are everything with wrong with this show and this country. You are nothing but a talentless, ridiculous buffoon that couldn't even make the cut for a middle school play, let alone move on to Hollywood. Goodbye, Gandalfa. Well, um, unfortunately, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gandalfa, Gandalfa didn't quite make the cut. Um, we have a lot more in store for you. However, thus far we are 0 for 3. Better luck on your medic tournament next time. I, I, I do believe that the goats wound up winning, just confirming that. But at this point, we're going back to another commercial break. We'll see you soon, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when we're part of the team. Everything is awesome when we're living our dream. 
This student is one of Team Alpha's finest. She is an exceptional athlete, a strong student, and a friend to all. As an eighth grader, her presence on Team Alpha will sorely be missed. It was a great pleasure to have you, Olive Martin, for overall awesomeness. This student is not only academically solid, but he is respectful, friendly, and fun. He is quick-witted and encourages others. Team Extreme recognizes Carter Durgan as overall awesome. Whether rocking it in the classroom or sliding into the biathlon, this student is galloping into first place. A positive greeting, action above and beyond, 100%ing the assignments, or just being awesome. Awesome on infinity is Althea Vive. This student maintains a positive attitude daily while also achieving academically, but he doesn't stop there. He stepped up and played a leading role in the musical and rocked the show. We are so happy to have you on Team Nova and can't wait to see you keep smiling in smiling in the classroom. Colton Buffard. If you are looking for someone that is totally awesome, look no further. This Lancer is always hardworking, always helpful, and brings her A-game every day. She brings a smile and positive attitude that can make a sad monkey do happy flips. She is a leader and always pushes herself to do the best. Thank you for showing us all what overall awesome nukes look like. Sage Rogier. Everything is awesome. All right, so we are here to talk about the golden plunger points from last week and overall. So currently, the standings are at Team Nova. You're at 80 points. <laughs> kind of cheer for yourself as we cheer. Infinity, you are at 110. Extreme, you are at 120. And Team Alpha, you are currently at 130. Before we get into points, we are gonna talk about the Street Fighter Award. Kermit has really, really settled in on Team Alpha, and Alpha also did a great job representing their Vermont wear. Unfortunately, Kermit was very upset by the fact that some students had made some rude comments directed towards some of their classmates during the competition. Therefore, Kermit has decided to spend some time on the team with the second best percentage of Vermont wear, and that goes to Team Extreme. Yeah. 
Evan, take care of Kermit, Evan. Before we get into the main challenge points, we are going to award your everyday awesomeness points. So iPads should always be charged and ready for the day. The team with the highest iPad battery percentage during a random morning check, there was a tie. So we're going to award, award five points to Team Extreme and Team Infinity. Now, for the best use of the library, meaning most books checked out without being overdue, five points goes to Team Alpha. And the team with the least lunchroom referrals, five points goes to Team Extreme. So currently we still have a tight race. Nova still holding down the caboose with 80 points. Infinity at 115, Extreme at 130, and Alpha at 135. All right, this quarter students celebrated their home by competing in a Vermont-themed challenge to earn golden plunger points. The events were the caber toss, milking a cow, and testing their knowledge on Vermont facts. Students started off by throwing a three-foot piece of cedar in an effort to get the greatest distance for their team. Alpha's Lane Judkins threw the caber an impressive 39 feet. But he was overtaken when Extreme's Garrett Chapin threw it for 39 and a half feet. <laughs> to, to celebrate the agricultural heritage of Vermont, students competed for the best time in milking a cow named Bessie. Finally, teams of students worked together to answer Vermont trivia. Trivia questions tested students' knowledge of maple sugar in, general Vermont facts, tree identification, and the location of each county. Students also attempted to define Vermont slang, such as J-E, which is G, and to decipher phonetically spelled words that represented a Vermont accent, including Kiao. Or, or what time is it? The overall times are as follows. Coming in fourth with an overall time of five minutes and 30 seconds is Team Alpha earning five points. <laughs> Next in third place with an overall time of 527 is Team Nova earning 10 points. And then now in second place with a time of 4.39 is Team Extreme who will earn 15 points. <laughs> now for our special announcement in regards to first place, although 20 points will be awarded to Team Infinity, their overall time of 3.49, it was Becca Putman and Libby Pickard who carried the team to victory by demonstrating serious Lancer pride by stepping up and participating when others bailed out. You two are rock stars. Please send Becca and Livy up to re re retrieve the mini golden plunger. All right, the mini golden plunger will go to Team Infinity. All right, so this brings our overall totals. Team Nova has jumped up to 90 points. Team Infinity has jumped up to 135. Team Alpha is at 140, and Extreme takes the lead at 145. <laughs> Next up will be the final Golden Plunger Challenge on June 13th, so stay tuned for more details. This is gonna be a heated battle all the way to the last day of school. Thank you, have a great day. One more event.
right, folks. Unfortunately, I had higher hopes for Team Alpha on that one, but there's, there's still time. There's still time. So, uh, we have one final performance for you today. At this point in time, I would like to direct your attention to the screen above, and if our technical crew could, please dim the lights. Thank you very much.
That was our last performance of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us. We are going to be dismissing you by your team. Your team name will come up. That will be the order in which you go. Thank you very much and have a great day. Congratulations, Alpha Street Boys.